Good morning. Today we're going to be presenting about endemic species of the Republic of Fiji. Fiji is located in South Pacific Ocean, east side of Australia. It's an island country consisting of more than 332 islands. And the two largest islands are called Viti Levu and Bono Levu. It has tropical marine climate, warmer wet season from November to April, cooler dry season from May to October. And the lowest temperature is 15 degrees Celsius and the highest one is 32 degrees Celsius. Also, the precipitation is high, especially during wet season. Furthermore, there are lots of mountains covered by tropical forests on the islands and also coral reefs surrounding the islands. Actually, there are more than 30 endemic species found in Fiji, but today we are going to be introducing you to only three of them. The first one is bicolor fox face fish, or people call them rabbit fish. Scientific name, Sicanus ospi. They have yellow, black, and white coloration and have elongated snout and concave head profile. They live in coral reefs and feed on algae, growing on the dead basis of branching coral. Interestingly, they have venomous strings on their spins and they can change coloration, especially when they are stressed. Next, the Dinaria, the genus, it consists of only two species. The first one is Degeneria rosaifora. The second one is Degeneria vitensis. Basically, they are large trees with very branching crown. They have primitive features such as primitive vessels, single pollen grains, and alternate simple leaves. They also have something called staminodes or infertile stamens which locate between fertile stamens and the central single carpel. They attract pollinators and also prevent self-pollination. They also have unusual kidney-shaped hooks. They split open along one side to reveal orange or red seeds. And as you can see, seeds are hanging down from the open foot and will be dispersed by birds. Moving on to the next species, which is the species of our focus for today. The orange foot stirps, or the scientific name is Tulinopus victor. These are small birds with bright orange color in male, and they occupy a variety of rooted habitats, and they are frugivorous birds, meaning they eat mainly fruits and occasionally some insects, mollusks, and other parts as well. They can be seen alone or in pair and occasionally in group. And another characteristic is that they have a unique and pigeon-like vocalization. The first factor that can affect the endemism of the orange fruit turbs is geographic isolation. If you look back at the history of the fruit turbs, the first group of the fruit turbs originated in Papua New Guinea. Uh, which is in the sea over here, and then they kind of spread to the islands around. And the second dispersal reached Fiji, which is in the F over here, around the Miocene approach, which is around six to eight million years ago. And as different group of the fruit leaves reach a particular island, so geographical isolation play a role. As generation and generation pass by, they kind of become more and more adapted to that island, give rise to are a new species of the fruit leaves. And our species is one of those, is the Tilinopus victory in the Fiji Island. But Fiji Islands doesn't, doesn't only have one particular type of the fruit leaves, they have three species. So as you can see over here, each species live in their own non-overlapping territory. And actually each territory is barricaded by isolated by each uh, the natural barricade. 
the underlying process of this could be allopatric speciation by dispersal. So there might be only one species of the fruit dove that arrived at the Fiji for the first time. And then this species kind of spread to a particular island. And as they lived there, generation by generation, they underwent their own mutation, genetic drifts, and also natural selection that shaped the way the species look like and also their, their genes. So that this give rise to a new species in a particular island. The next factor that can affect endemism of a species is uh, sexual isolation. So orange fruit derps are not always orange. As you can see in the picture over here, the females is green. So the differences between the male and the female is called sexual dimorphism. So sexual dimorphism is very common in the genus Linopets, which is the fruit derps. So the, the females are actually more green and then the male is a more colorful one. And this indicates that the male might be recognized by the female as a potential mate because of the way they look like. Even though they are closely related, if different species kind of migrate to each other island, they are not going to be able to get recognized by the female in that island and it make it harder for them to survive in a particular island because they, they, they can't really get selected to be a potential mate. So that lead to endemism within their own particular island. And these are our references and thank you for watching.